dear students welcome to abi online classes in today's session also we'll discuss the remaining questions in the chapter eigen values and eigen vectors very very important points are in this chapter frequently these are the type of questions are asking in the all competitive exams i have written uh, in a objective way objective bits way first one <coughs> If lambda one, lambda two, and so on, lambda n are the characteristic roots, eigenvalues means characteristic roots are nothing but eigenvalues. Characteristic roots of n square matrix A and K is a scalar. Then lambda one minus K, lambda two minus K. Just we are subtracting K from these uh, characteristic roots. Lambda n minus K. These are the characteristic roots of the matrix A minus K I. If all these are the characteristic roots of a lambda 1 minus k lambda 2 minus k lambda n minus k all these are the characteristic roots of a minus k i in the same way lambda 1 plus k lambda 2 plus k lambda n plus k all these are the characteristic roots of a plus k i now we are multiplying with some scalar k K lambda one, K lambda two, K lambda n. These are the characteristic roots of K A. If for lambda one, lambda two, lambda n are the characteristic roots of A, then K lambda one, K lambda two, K lambda n are also the characteristic roots of K. If for lambda one, lambda two, lambda n are the characteristic roots of A, then lambda one square, lambda two square, lambda n square. These are all the characteristic roots of A square. these are very very important uh, bits in the competitive exams now we see some problems if a is non singular matrix prove that eigen values of a inverse are the reciprocals of the eigen values of a eigen values of a inverse are the reciprocals of eigen values of a that is we need to prove now given here a is non singular now we see the proof lambda is a characteristic root of matrix a and capital x is a characteristic vector of a corresponding to characteristic root lambda therefore a into x is equal to lambda into x very important x is equal to we bring this a to the right side a inverse of lambda x since a is non singular a inverse exists for a non singular matrix only inverse exists x is equal to we write this as a lambda times of a inverse into x now we bring this lambda to the left side 1 by lambda into x is equal to a inverse into x this implies 1 by lambda is a characteristic root of a inverse lambda is a characteristic root of a 1 by lambda is a characteristic root of a inverse that means the reciprocal the reciprocal of lambda is 1 by lambda if lambda is a characteristic root of a then 1 by lambda is a characteristic root of a inverse that is why eigen values of a inverse are the reciprocals of eigen values of a that is we have proved now we will see one more question if lambda is a characteristic root of a then prove that Det a by lambda is a characteristic root of adjoint a. Here, the given matrix A is non-singular. Let me help. If lambda is a characteristic root of A, det a by lambda is a characteristic root of adjoint a. How we will see now. Lambda is a characteristic root of A, and x is a characteristic vector. of a corresponding to characteristic root lambda therefore a into x is equal to lambda into x 
we take this as equation 1. Multiply both sides by adjoint A. Pre-multiply or post-multiply. Adjoint A into AX is equal to adjoint A into lambda X. Now I write this as adjoint A into A into X equal to lambda times of adjoint A into X. Since we know adjoint A into A is equal to det A into I. So now I write this as det A into I. X equal to lambda times of adjoint A into X. By identity law, I into X is X. Lambda times of adjoint A into X. We bring this lambda to the left side. Det A by lambda into X equal to adjoint A into X. Now we have proved Det A by lambda is a characteristic root of adjoint A. This implies Det A by lambda is a characteristic root of adjoint A. So we see the proof again. If lambda is a characteristic root of A, Det A by lambda is a characteristic root of adjoint A. First, uh, lambda is a characteristic root of A and X is a characteristic vector of A corresponding to lambda. Therefore, AX is equal to lambda X. We pre-multiplied both sides by adjoint A into X. By associative law, we bring these two terms in the same bracket. Det A, adjoint A into A into X is equal to lambda times of adjoint A into X. Lambda is a scalar. Now, adjoint A into A is nothing but a det A into I into X equal to lambda times of adjoint A into X. By identity law, I into X gives X. Therefore, det A into X is equal to lambda times of adjoint A into X. Now, we bring this lambda to the left side. Det A by lambda into X is equal to adjoint A into X. Therefore, det A by lambda is a characteristic root of adjoint A. All these are very, very important uh, bits in the competitive exams. Now, we will see one more question. The trace of the matrix 2, 1, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0 3, whole power 20 is option A, 7 power 20, option B, 2 power 20 plus 3 power 20, option C, 2 into 2 power 20 plus 3 power 20, option D, 2 power 20 plus 3 power 20 plus 1. This question was asked in CSIR net 2018. So here when we observe this given matrix, we call this matrix A power 20. Here power is 20. No? We call this matrix as A power 20. 210, 020, 003. This is A power 20. When we observe this matrix, this is a upper triangular matrix. Therefore, for this eigenvalues, first we take separately A. A is equal to, without 20 I will write, 210, 020, 003. A power 20 we discuss uh, later. First we discuss A. A is equal to 210. 020003. This is A. Eigenvalues of A are 2, 2, 3. These are the principal diagonal elements of A. Since this is an upper triangular matrix, 2, 2, 3 are the principal diagonal elements of A. Some of the principal diagonal elements gives a trace of A. Since this is an upper triangular matrix, 2, 2, 3 are the eigenvalues of A. Trace of A is equal to sum of the principal diagonal elements and sum of the eigenvalues. This is equal to 7. If uh, lambda is a characteristic root of A, 
just now we have discussed in in this uh, today's session itself we have discussed this point if lambda is a characteristic root of a then lambda power n is is also is a characteristic root of a power n lambda is a characteristic root of a lambda power n is a characteristic root of a power n in place of lambda we write 2 2 3 are the eigen values characteristic roots these are the characteristic roots of a then 2 power 20 2 power 20 3 power 20 are the characteristic roots eigen values of a power 20 characteristic roots here are the principal diagonal elements therefore trace of a is equal to 2 power 20 sum of the principal diagonal elements gives a trace sum of the eigen values also gives trace so trace of a is equal to 2 power 20 plus 2 power 20 plus 3 power 20 2 power 20 plus 2 power 20 2 into 2 power 20 plus 3 power 20 this is the trace of a 2 power 20 plus 2 power 20 gives 2 into 2 power 20 plus 3 power 20 this is the trace of a therefore option c is correct so in this uh, today's session we have discussed some problems in the chapter eigen values and eigen vectors hope you understood this class thank you